Hi, this is Bill from Molten Voltage, and I'm here today to show you how to use CME, our MIDI display, along with Molten MIDI, so you can show names for programs that you've come up with on Molten MIDI. Now, out of the box, Molten MIDI just sends out information to control the whammy, but you can change it so it'll send out program changes and CME can respond to it. So the first thing you have to do is when you're turning on Molten MIDI, you hold down the button on the right. And while you're holding it down, you press the button. You can toggle between red and yellow on the LED. Well, you want it to be yellow because that'll make it send out program changes on channel 16. And now you can see CME is kind of going crazy. That's because CME is set to Omni, meaning it'll receive program changes on every channel. So what you need to do is make it so CME only sees program changes on channel 16. That's really easy too. You just hold down the button while you power it on to select the MIDI channel. See right now it's on Omni, so we want to make it 16. Then you just press the button again, boom, save the MIDI channel. Now CME's going to power back on. And you'll see as we change the programs now on Molten MIDI, it's changing the LED over here on the whammy like it always does to show you which program you're on. But that's not always easy to see on stage. So if you have this display to go along with it and you put in custom names, then you can have a lot more information while you're switching settings. Now, the default for any of these programs on CME is just to say the program number. Um, what you need to do, you need to start the program actually on Molten MIDI so it doesn't keep sending out that program change. And then to change a program, you just hold down the button and you just change each letter one at a time until you get it to say what you want and then you hold down the button again boom so now every time you change to that program that's what will come up so something else that's really cool to do with um, the whammy if you just want to go to a particular setting and you want to be able to see what the heck that setting is while you're playing well you can just name one of your settings with CME that corresponds to the setting over on the whammy. Like here, I have it named octave down. And when I press the start button, it'll switch right over to the octave down setting. Now, how, you might be asking yourself, well, how do I do that with Molten MIDI? Well, it's really easy, actually. Once you get it on the setting you want, you'll see it's flashing the shallow and deep LEDs, and then the LED that's corresponding to the actual program number as opposed to the setting you're going to jump to. So when it's on the one you want, and we already got it typed in here on CME, you hold down the tap button, press the start stop button twice, the second one you hold down, and then let go of the first button. And now, again, over here on the whammy, it's asking you which one of these programs do you want to write. Okay, so what we can do, we can go through our different settings here but we already had it on octave down, so we're just going to leave it on that. We press the button on the right again. Boom. So over here, you, when you get into the program mode, the first thing you got to do is decide what type of program you want. Well, if it's going in a circle like this, where every LED is lighting up, that's one of the sequence ones. But if you just want a, a different settings type of program, or you're just going to select a setting on the whammy, go over here to your Molten MIDI, and just click the encoder once to the left. And now you'll see over here, the whammy light, it's jumping around every fifth one, and it just keeps doing that. Well, that means it's going to be a different settings type program, which is what we want. So now we go back here, we press the start button again, and now we're in the program mode. And we can decide which one of these settings we want for our first program. And so I'm going to turn the knob till I get to the setting I want. You'll see as I go back and forth, the whammy could be either on or off. That'll be indicated by the whammy light here. So see there it's off. And then if I go back around, I can get all those same settings with it on. It just keeps looping on or off. 
Well, in this case, we're going to do octave down, but we're going to want it on. So let's loop around, and then there, we have octave down. Now I'm going to press the right button over on molten MIDI, and you're going to see the shallow and deep LED flash. That means that wrote that setting to the first step. You can have up to 16 different programs you can jump around with, but if you just want a single one, just do two steps in a row of the exact same one. Boom, now we got two of the same one, and to exit the program mode, we just press the button on the left here, and it flashed the shallow and deep LEDs to let us know we programmed correctly. Now, whenever we call up that program, boom, it'll jump right to the octave down. We have the next one programmed as well. As you can see, it's the octave harmony. Well, we press that and boom, it goes to the octave harmony. Then the next one, you can see over here on CME, it's octave up and down. Well, in that case, we want it to go alternate between the octave down and the octave up. So there you can see each time I press the button, it's going between the octave up and the octave down over on the whammy. So that's basically all there is to it. It's, it's really easy to set up CME so you can actually name your programs that are coming off of Molten MIDI. And it makes it a whole lot easier to know what program you're calling up instead of trying to figure out which of these LEDs corresponds to which program. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me over at moltenvoltage.com. Thanks a lot.